Hello and welcome to Rebels Radio latest interview. I'm joined by Slough Joint Manager Neil Baker. How are you, Neil? Very well, John. Yourself? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, thank you very much. So five wins out of six, another home win. How are you feeling? Yeah, obviously we're, we're, we're delighted with the, the recent form and the turnaround in, um, you know, in form. Uh, home record's fantastic at the moment. You know, uh, um, I think Weymouth have only the only side with a better home record than us at the moment. So, um, yeah, I've got to be really pleased. I uh, thought we thought we were excellent yesterday. thought we put in a really, really good performance. Um, first half, it could have gone either way. Um, they had chances, we had chances. Um, Scotty's made a fantastic save just before half time after we'd had a, a mad, mad scramble in their, um, in their box um, so you know we went in nil nil and you know it could have been three all to be honest it was uh, it was so open um, Cambridge gave you a good test oh they're a good side they're a good side we, we spoke to Gary in the, in the bar afterwards and you know they've got some good players and you know we looked at their team sheet before the game and you know they've got some very good players in their side and they want to play I mean you know they want to they want to get the balls into the front men's feet um, and play off and, and little balls around the corners and you know and they open sides up and they, they started brightly didn't they yeah, they probably they had the best of the first yeah. 10 15 yeah. minutes yeah oh yeah yeah no they say so they're a good they're a very good side so um you know we got a little bit lucky um I think Guy took a bit of a chance and um, but we thought the ball was going out of play and the lad, I think Dawkins, done really well to keep it in and then, um, you know, the lad's had a shot and I think it's hit Stoney on the line. Stoney's cleared it, yeah. Yeah, sort of. I don't know. He, Back he knew, it almost. I don't think he knew an awful lot about it but, you know, we, we, we rode our luck there but I think they, they also rode their luck at times as well. So, um, but, then I thought second half, you know, we, we said that whenever they had the ball, we needed to um, make sure that we were narrow um, to make it hard to play through us. Um, and I thought we'd done that superbly second half, and I thought we were excellent. A couple of changes from the Redditch game, why were they? Um, well, to be honest, um, you know, we'd, we'd sort of said that uh, Struts would play on Saturday um, to Scott. Scott was going to be late uh, from work, so he, I think he got there about 10 to 3. Um, you know, it, it's very difficult because Hatchet's been absolutely superb as well this season, but sometimes when you have a lone player, um, sometimes you need to play him, and, and Hatchet understands that, and uh, you know he's been he's been fantastic all season. So um, you know he knows he's going to get plenty of football. So uh, it, it is what it is. Um, we wanted to get Rummy back in the side. Um, um, to be honest, it was a it was a decision we we had. Um, Declan was going to be on the bench um, anyway. We'd made that decision. Um, but uh, we, we spoke to him and actually we agreed uh, that he would have the day off um, as he had a few few things going on uh, personally yesterday. So um, so we, we said that, but he'll be with us on Tuesday uh, for his final game. But we wanted to get Rummy back in the side. So, um, you know, and obviously Searsy, Searsy had been ill on the Monday night against Redditch and, you know, he felt a lot better. So, we, again, we wanted to get him back in the side as well. Some really good football played at times and, and knocking the ball around well. What were you pl- particularly pleased with? Uh, all round, you know, I, th- I thought the work rate was top draw. You know, everyone everyone closed down. You know, worked in packs, and um, you know we were tight. And you know, as you say, we we, we passed passed in good areas as well. Um, I think we're starting to see the best of Warren Harris again. You know, Lewis Putman so disciplined. You know, I, I never thought I'd see. I, I I didn't think I would see him be as disciplined as he has been. I think he's been an absolute revelation out on the left. Um, really, really delighted with how he's taken to it and. Um, you know, so you, you know you got your wingers, you got your your, your um, central midfielders, your, your two centre halves, and obviously Justin Clayton come on done really well. Two full backs, you know, you can go through the whole side. Scotty, front boys, it was a, it was just a really really good performance. I think somebody somebody said on the forum it's very difficult to actually pick one one out, and I agree. I thought everyone was um, excellent yesterday. Yeah, but that was that was in the end given to Searsy. Uh, yeah. Really led from the front, lots of great tackles. Oh yeah, you know, um, so we we've seen the best of Searsy. Again, you know, obviously he had had his injury injury problems last year, and and touch wood, you know, he, he hasn't had that so much this season. You know, he, he missed the, a, a couple of games when uh, he sort of had a bit of a knee problem against Burnham. Um, but other than that, he's pretty much played in every game every game this season. Um, you know, and he's 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 getting getting fitter, and you know, he's he's such a good lad. You know, he, he's well respected in the changing room, and um, yeah, you know, people people respond to him. And so after a strong home performance, after after an away setback, a, yeah. a tough away trip on Tuesday to Chippenham. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, Chippenham have been flying all season. You know, they're, um, funnily enough, we spoke to Jason Matthews, who, who's a Weymouth manager, and um, he had uh, he'd said that Chippenham were superb. You know, he was really, really impressed with them. Um, 
think you said they were one of the best sides they played this season. So you know we know it'll be tough. Um, you know, obviously we hope that they they you know they may have uh, after all the euphoria of the FA Cup that they might you know coming back to league league games it might affect them. Um, but you know I know we know their manage, management team well, and you know I'm sure they'll get them up for it. And they'll know it's an important three points for them as it is for us. Um, and it's the end for many of the low knee signings. Mm-hmm. Where does it leave the squad? What, what, what would you like to say about the Loney signing? Um, well, obviously, Stoney, uh, Declan and Struts uh, will all be leaving after Tuesday. Um, you know, we, we wouldn't have looked to have renewed Dex uh, loan, if we're, if we're brutally honest. He's done really well. Um, you know, he's a good player. But I think we've got just as good of uh, options in, in central midfield as well. You know, obviously, when we when we bought him in, we didn't have Rummy. You know, it, it was it was one of those. And he's come in and done great for us. But um, we feel that we're adequately covered in there. Um, Stoney's been absolutely magnificent. You know, um, he's one of the best left-backs I've seen you know, for a long, long time. Um, you know, obviously we'd love to love to keep him, but, you know, Oxford City want him back and, you know, it's understandable really. Um, we'd love to get him longer term, um, but that's just not the reality at the moment. So we just have to have to get on with that. Um, Strutt's great lad. You know, he's done really, really well for us. He's, he's getting better. Um, he's getting fitter. We had a good chat with him last night. I mean, he'd love to stay at Slough. Um, obviously, we've got Eddie coming back. And uh, you know we've 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 spoken to Eddie. We've told Eddie he's got to come back, and he's got to come back firing. Um, you know we've put a little bit of pressure on on Eddie, and you know we'll we'll see what happens. And you know, but Struts could be a, a longer term option. You know he's he's local, and he he, he does he, he's really enjoyed it, and he, he definitely wants to be at the club. I know that. And what about the search for any replacements? Obviously, Stoney's particular position, that left back problem <coughs> this season. How are we getting on with recruiting some new uh, substitutes? There? Yeah, I mean that's the only that's the only one we're looking to. Um, you know. Uh, bring in, you know, we're looking to bring in left back. We're not looking to bring anything else in. You know, as I say, we've got Eddie coming back in. Um, you know, that's a direct replacement for for um, Struts, and obviously we've got Nathan Webb back in the back in the squad. You know, Nathan Nathan was superb at the start of the season, and probably our best, um, one of our best players uh, to start the season. So, you know, we've got him to come back in as well. So, yes, the left back. Uh, you know, we, we've we've put a number of seven day approaches in. Um, we've been turned turned down by a couple. Um, you know, we were we we're hoping to possibly um, get somebody from Kingstonian, but you know, we're we're, we're waiting to find out on that. Um, listen, you know, whatever happens, we're not going to get another Paul Stonehouse. You know, um, he's you know he's he's superb. So you know, we have to we have to sort of work with what whatever we bring in. Um, I would say that you know we've. From our point of view, we feel that we've got a couple of weeks to to do that. Um, I know we've obviously got the Romford game next Sunday, um, but I feel that you know we'll we'll have enough in our squad to sort of deal with that with that challenge anyway. And we possibly might not have somebody in place for for that Sunday game. Um, but you know we are looking. You know we, we we're going to be um, out again this week, and you know talking to various people and seeing what's about. Um, and, and hopefully we, we might we might sort of get a bit of luck. Um, and in terms of the longer term injury fronts, I know it's been a little bit quiet in terms of people like Jake and Craig Scott. Um, yep. what, what's the latest information on those? Yeah, Jake's had his operation, so he's uh, he's on crutches now. Um, I think he won't be. You know, we won't see him this side of Christmas. Um, you know, and I, I would have thought that possibly January January time he he, he might start his recovery. Um, obviously, he'll need, he'll you know when he's when he's fit, we'll need to get him out. Um, to get him fit, and, and and we'll see where we are. You know, we'll see where we are with Jake, and um, and same with, with Scotty. Really, you know, I think he's hoping to, um, you know, start training December stroke January, um, and you know, once he's once he's back as well, we'll we'll look to get him some games to get his fitness up, and you know, it gives us gives us more more options at centre half. You know, um, I think it's as strong as we've been at centre half for a long time. You know. Um, I think Justin's come in and done very well. Dan Hicks has been an absolute revelation. Um, you know, delighted with him. And obviously Guy Hollis has been absolutely fantastic with, with some of the things that's been going on in Guy's personal life um, this, this, you know, this season. His attitude, his um, commitment, you know, the way he's been playing has been nothing short of remarkable, to be honest. And, you know, I've got massive respect for him. Uh, any of the kind of squad players going to be going out and getting any game time at all? No, I think we, you know, we're we're lighter as a squad. Um, I would say that, you know, we're not we're not as uh, big in terms of numbers. But what I would say is, I think we've we've done, we've had a 
um, a, you know, a, a very busy month, you know, with lots of midweek games and, and it, it starts to quieten down a little bit now. You know, we don't have so many after Tuesday, you know, we don't have so many midweek games left this season. And, you know, so what that does is, is it enables you that if we do pick up an injury on a Saturday, it gives, gives us quite a bit of time to bring somebody else in. So we want to keep it, we want to keep it as a together squad. Um, you know, I feel that everyone's getting closer as a, as a unit um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just keep assessing it. And finally, um, on Luke Williams, uh, is he now going to be permanently away from the club? Or um, Luke's um, Luke's decided to knock football on the head at the moment. Um, he obviously went to Met Police, done brilliant there. Um, you know, unfortunately, Met Police had already committed to bringing in a loan keeper. Um, you know, obviously, we we said to him we needed to get in games because uh, obviously Scotty's been tremendous for us, um, and uh, we we lined him up um, some games with Haraborough, um, and uh, but he's decided that. Actually, you know, he, he he wanted to be with us, um, but you know, he, he at the same time he doesn't really want to be going all over the place to other clubs. So um, he's going to knock it on the head. Um, I'm going to have a chat with him on Monday as well about it. Um, I feel it's a shame because he's he's only young. Uh, I think he's a tremendous keeper. He's got uh, you know really really good prospects. Um, you know, we're just blessed that we well, we had Mark Scott and and Luke Williams really. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he if he sort of ducks in and out with training and, and stuff like that with us. And and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, okay. And finally, a month ago it all looked a, a little bit less 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 rosy in the garden. Yeah. Now now a month on, um, looking upwards in the league, currently seventh. I know a few teams have a game in hand. How are you viewing overall progress this season? Yeah, I mean. <sighs> Yeah, I mean it's uh, yeah, as you say, it's very different to a month ago. We were we were in a, a poor place, and um, and we we needed to make some big decisions, and feel we've done that. You know, I'm not saying that everything's hunky dory and we've got everything right. You know, that's that's just football. Um, delighted with where we are in the league. Delighted with the the amount of points that we've got on the board. Um, you know, we we're we're a mile in front of where we were back in the last season and, and the beginning of this season, and. Um, you know that's that can only be viewed as progress, and and we've just got to keep trying to progress. You know, I'm not gonna we're not gonna get carried away with the league table or anything like that. As you say, it's a false position at the moment because the teams have got games in hand, but then they are they all can't win their games in hand. You know, so um, you know we're, we're we're delighted where we are, and we just need to keep pushing on and hopefully um, you know keep winning games. And who knows? Excellent. Well, thanks ever so much for your time as ever, Neil. Look forward to the game on at Chippenham on Tuesday. Easy for me to say. Easy for you to say, yeah. And, uh, and good luck. Cheers, John. Thanks.